only one pizza. A, air, final answer. That's right, you got a thousand dollars, Captain Cook. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Nighter Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, folks, we're just a week away from the first of two special rock star editions of the show. Next Sunday night, we'll find out what you get when you mix two Backstreet Boys, one Dixie Chick, three female pop idols, and three rock legends with a little dash of Cisco. Your guess is as good as mine, but I'm sure a good time will be had by all on our rock specials. And now from rock and roll to stars and bars, we have Captain Pete Booker, U.S. Army, with us from St. Louis, Missouri. Nice to have you back on the show, Captain. Thank you. Boy, if this guy isn't an ad for the U.S. Army, I don't know what is. <laughs> Look at him there. Boy, oh boy. Look like Matt Damon in a uniform to me. I've gotten that a few times, yeah, yes. Yeah, sure. So you're a captain. <laughs> yes, I and am. And these are your dress army blues. That's correct. Very good. And you've been in the army how long? I've been in for nine years total now. Well, it's nice to see you again, uh, Pete. And let's see, your girlfriend is with you now. Teresa, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Nice to meet you. And they understand you're engaged. Yes. Well, congratulations. How long have you been dating the captain? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. <laughs> yeah. And you, are you about to become a, an Army wife? I think in March. In March? You mean uh, this coming March? Yes. Oh, boy. And where's the wedding going to be held? Somewhere in the Caribbean, hopefully. All right, good. Good enough. All right, well, we're glad you're back, and uh, good luck to you and, uh, and Teresa. Now, if you want to play along with Captain Pete, go to abc.com right now and click on to our enhanced TV game. Pete, you've won $1,000, and you're just 10 questions away from the $1 million level. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. You have all three of your lifelines left, 50-50, as the audience, and you can, of course, phone a friend. Remember, Pete, if you go all the way, You'll leave here with $1,890,000. Ready to play? Ready. Audience, ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, here we go, Captain, for $2,000. What is the name of the housekeeper on the TV series The Brady Bunch? Anne, Florence, Hazel, Alice. I believe that Alice was the housekeeper. Final. Final. Yes, Alice for two thousand dollars. <laughs> See, this is like a reconnaissance. We're heading for the big bucks. Okay. This is it. Four thousand dollars. A scallion is a type of which of the following: cabbage, onion, squash, bean. I believe it's an onion. Final? Final. Yes, sir, it's an onion. <laughs> closer and closer, we move to the enemy. Yep. <laughs> $8,000. Which of these vacation destinations lies on the Atlantic Ocean? Palm Springs, Cancun, Rio de Janeiro, Guadalajara. Why don't we talk about this? Palm okay. Springs? Not Palm Springs. It's on the Pacific. Cancun? Could be. I'm um, just worried about... Is that considered the Gulf of Mexico or the Atlantic Ocean? Rio de Janeiro? Could be. Well, it could be what? Could be Rio in Brazil. I just don't know if it's on the coast. You Guadalajara, said, I, don't Guadalajara. Think so. I don't think so. So you narrowed it down then to Cancun or Rio de Janeiro. Right. Yeah, let's, let's go with Rio. Final answer? Yes. 
yes for $8,000. Seven away from one million eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Here it is for sixteen thousand. What singer wrote the nineteen ninety eight best selling book, A Pirate Looks at Fifty? Jimmy Buffett, Paul Simon, Chris Christopherson, James Taylor. I have not heard of this book. say what I think it is, because I may have to ask the audience here. Mm -hmm. A pirate. Which would connotate a kind of seafaring person. And I know one of these guys is always kind of associated with the beach. Well, it could mean many things. A pirate could be yeah. sort of a um, type of character. I think I'd like to ask the audience. Why don't we one. do that? Audience, come on. We need some help for the captain. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Fifty-four percent called it Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> audience is usually right. I think I'll go with A, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett, final answer. Yes. Jimmy Buffett, the right answer for six <laughs> U.S. Army, sitting in the hot seat right now, has won $16,000 and going for $32,000. Now, let's see. I know you're Captain Booker, but I think you'd like to be called President Booker. I think that is one of my goals in life. Become uh, the President of the United States. Yes. Uh, one of my heroes is Colin Powell, and uh, I really admire the way he has gone from military to civilian life to back into politics, and I think that's something I'd like to pursue after I leave the military. One of your duties was, in fact, with an American president, right? That's true. I served as uh, part of the Army's escort to the president in Washington, D.C. for three years. Is that right? Yeah. And, and do you have much contact with the president when you're in that position? Uh, you stand around him an awful lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're part of the military people that you see always standing behind him or standing in front of him. And uh, Do they ever talk to you? No, they'll say something like, good job or thanks again, but uh, you don't speak to him that mm -hmm. much. Right. All right, fine, but I understand you also, among your other talents, can do a great impression of Jimmy Stewart. I've been told I can do a pretty good one of Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, well, let's hear it. I'll tell you how good you are. All right, here we go. Jimmy Stewart and It's a Wonderful Life. Well, well Clarence, what about Mary? What happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Not bad, Captain. What a lucky girl you are, Teresa. <laughs> Married to Pete Booker and Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> All right, so here we are, Captain. You've won 16,000. We're going for 32,000. Miss here, and you'll go back to 1,000. We don't want to do that. Here it is for 32,000. Let's play. <laughs> Which of the following Native American chiefs was a leader in the 1876 defeat of General Custer at Little Bighorn, Chief Joster, Joseph, Geronimo, Tecumseh, Crazy Horse. It's not Tecumseh. I 
I think it's a 50-50. Computer, please narrow it down. Take away two of those wrong answers. You leave us Tecumseh and Crazy Horse. Well, you sure about Tecumseh? Not 100% now. <laughs> Tecumseh. Crazy Horse sounds right. I think it's Crazy Horse. That was my first impression. I'm gonna go with it. And make it your final answer. Crazy Horse for 32,000. Good. We still have a lifeline. We're going for 64,000. Here it is. It started on January 10th, 2001. NTV aired over 17 straight hours of commercial-free scrolling text addressing what issue? Teen pregnancy, gun control, hate crimes, TV violence. I don't know. I'm gonna definitely take a guess on this one, no, but I wanna try and... We uh, still have a yeah. lifeline. I wanna try and phone a friend. Yeah, good. Anybody in the cop pop culture field there among your phone friends? Well, I have a friend and, uh... He may know it. He's a teacher, works with kids. He's about my age, so he may watch MTV a lot still. Okay. I wanna call, uh, Arthur. Who oh, is it? Arthur. Arthur. We need Arthur, at and Arthur? Yes? Regis Philbin calling from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine, Regis. How are you? I'm here with your pal, Captain Booker. <laughs> and he needs your help right now. Okay. So he's going to come on to read the question of the four answers, all right? Pete, you've got 30 seconds, and they start now. Started on January 10th, 2001, MTV aired over 17 straight hours of commercial-free scrolling text addressing what issue? Teen pregnancy, gun control, hate crimes, or TV violence? I would say probably C, hate crimes. Any idea why? Um, no, but I remember flipping through there, and I think they mentioned hate crimes. OK, thanks. At this point, his guess is as good as mine. He seemed to have an idea where I have no idea. So I'm going to go with hate crimes. Final answer. Arthur was right. Whoa. Hey, we're just four away, but we gotta do okay. it on our own now. We're out of lifelines. Well, we're going for $125,000. Which of the following US cities takes its name from an early capital of ancient Egypt? Atlanta, Georgia. Memphis, Tennessee, Akron, Ohio, Phoenix, Arizona. The only Egyptian city on this list that I recognize is Memphis. I told myself if I had an idea at 64,000, I would take a guess. I'm gonna go with Memphis. Okay. Can I ask you? Final answer. Yes. Just bought 125. <laughs> when we come back, he goes for 250,000. $25,000 for Captain Pete Booker.
captain has uh, got a vacation coming up. You're taking some leave in, uh, in March? Yes. Getting married? Yes, we're planning to get married. And uh, with the money, I think Teresa, her dream has always been to go to the Caribbean and have a wedding slash honeymoon with some of our friends. And I think that's what the money will be going towards. Got to go with some of your friends. Yeah, I'd like some of our close friends to be come nice with us. Be nice if we just went with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you on the list, sir. <laughs> All right, fine. And then what's your next stop uh, in the Army? Uh, in May, I'm going to Greece. I'm going to be taking command of a company there. Mm -hmm. And what is all this on your chest? Oh, these are uh, the numerous awards and decorations I've accrued. These are my uh, airborne wings for being a parachutist and air assault wings and some of the medals and uh, decorations I've Very received. nice. You look terrific. Thank you. All right, now look. The enemy is just over the ridge. You understand? <laughs> we got to play this game! All right. With three stops away from winning big honeymoon. The rest of your life kind of honeymoon. <laughs> We're going for $1,890,000 here. We're all excited. We start with $250,000. let us play. <laughs> the theme song of which of these TV shows did not become a top 10 hit on Billboard's pop singles chart? Mission Impossible. The Rockford Files. Welcome back, Kata. Dragnet did not become a top 10 hit. I'm pretty sure Mission Impossible did. Okay. I believe Dragnet did. Between the Rockford Files and Welcome Back, Connor. <coughs> Welcome Back, Connor, with a good song. I think it would have made the top ten. Rockford Files, maybe not. I'm gonna go with the Rockford Files. You gotta go with the Rockford Files. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Final answer, Captain. Yes. I don't believe it, but they tell me it's Mission Impossible. <laughs> Mission Impossible. Okay. I'm sick. I'm just sick. Captain. God, I'm sorry. I'm okay. really sorry. Good yeah. luck to you, pal. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy, that one really hurt. Well, I guess the $250,000, it wasn't going to be the obvious choice. Mission Impossible only reached spot 41. Good luck to Captain Booker and Teresa. He certainly has a promising future. Now let's meet 10 people who also have promising futures. And they are... Danny Ream, Columbia Station, Ohio. Stephen Tate, Detroit, Michigan. Mark Williams, Chicago, Illinois. Karen Christensen, Sunnyvale, California. Kathy Irvin, Van Hills, California. Ed Sullivan, Watsika, Illinois. Joe Royal, Escanaba, Michigan. Tiffany Keith Jeffries, Jackson, Mississippi. Rick Lewis, Crooked River Ranch, Oregon. Eric Simon, Rockaway, New Jersey. Okay, everybody, assume the position, because here comes tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these major U.S. cities in geographical order, starting in the west. Sioux Falls, Grand Rapids, Palm Springs, Idaho Falls. Okay, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order. Starting in the west, first uh, city, Palm Springs. Then Idaho Falls, Sioux Falls. Finally, Grand Rapids. That's the right order. Who got it? The fastest time. Let's see. Eric Simon. Eric, can you believe that? Yeah, let's go, baby. All right. Take a look at this guy and try to figure out what Eric Simon from Rockaway, New Jersey, does for a living. Well, he's a biology professor at Fordham University. Lately, we've had a lot of teachers on the show. That's right. Nice that's to right. have you here, Eric. Thank and you. Eric's wife, 
uh, was a contestant a couple of times, right? Right. My wife has been a contestant twice in the last year, but she never made it up into the hot and seat. got in there. So I guess uh, the two of you have competed for who was going to win the, get in that hot seat first. A, a little bit, but uh, my friends would sometimes ask me, oh, would you be jealous if Amanda got in the hot seat and won a lot of money? And I'd say, you know, I get half no matter who wins it. Sure. So, uh, so I don't care either way. And she's probably saying the same thing right now. <laughs> and your mom is with you now. Muriel, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Regis. Yeah. This you... is the biggest thrill of my life. Really? It sure is. That's good. All right, Eric. Well, you know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. And you know how much money you're playing for. So let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Eric Simon. Here we go. <laughs> Going for $100. When someone is in a predicament, it is said he is between a rock and a what? Soft spot, seashell, hard place, bigger rock. Sea, hard place. That's what he's between, a rock and a hard place. $200. Which of these materials is usually transparent? Cellophane, construction paper, felt, cement. Cellophane. That's uh, the transparent one, cellophane. For $300, Eric, which of these products often comes in waxed, mint, and unflavored varieties? Dental floss, Q-tips, Alka-Seltzer, chicken. <laughs> uh, dental floss. Yes, sir, you just won $300. Going for five, a boxer whose ears are misshapen after repeated injury is said to have what kind of ears? Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprout, cabbage. Cauliflower. Cauliflower ears, the right answer, yes sir. Okay, quickly, he's up to $1,000. Which of the following is the material buckskin made from? Goat, beaver, deer, buffalo. Deer. Yes, for a thousand dollars. Well, great. We'll come back to keep going for two thousand. from Fordham University in the hot seat right now. Actually did his Ph.D. work at uh, Harvard. That's right. Biochem. That's right. Good. And uh, you're a man of varied talents, you know. You've got a lot of interests, including uh, you're a deadhead. That's right. That's right, I am. You followed the Grateful Dead around? Uh, I did. I did for a number of years, yeah, during college and graduate school. How serious was this? Um, well, it was, it, it filled up my vacations for the most part. I, I never let it uh, interrupt classes mm -hmm. or things like that. Uh, I once did manage to get to uh, six Grateful Dead shows in seven days without missing a single class. No kidding. Uh, but I would, mostly I would spend my uh, vacations and my summers hitchhiking around and uh, seeing lots of shows in lots of different parts of the country. All right, Eric, let's get back to it now. You're going for $2,000. You're 10 away from the big bucks. Got all your lifelines ready for you. Let's play. Here we go. $2,000. Which of these letters is not found on the right-hand side of a standard U.S. computer keyboard? P, L, O, X. Uh, the answer is X. Final? Final answer. That's right, you won $2,000. Up to 4,000. 1981, John Hinckley Jr. attempted to assassinate President Reagan to impress what actress? Deborah Winger, Jodie Foster, Brooke Shields, Sally Field. The answer is B, Jodie Foster. You want to make that your final answer? Yes, it was Jodie Foster for 4,000. Mom was cheering like crazy oh, back then. Going for 8,000. The word amen, when used to end a prayer, 
is derived from the Hebrew word meaning what? So be it. Blessed be. Peace. God is good. I, I have an idea, but I don't want to risk it, and I, I think the audience might know this. Let me just think about it for one more Go moment, ahead. please. Seems like something the audience would know. Regis, I'd like to ask the audience, please. Then why don't we do it? Audience, we need a little help for Eric. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Okay, uh, that's an awfully big number, so uh, I'll agree with the audience and say A. So be it. Yes. Amen, so be it. Final? Final answer. Yes, you won $8,000. Two lifelines left, Eric. Seven away, 16,000. Take a look. From 1996 to 1999, Penny Marshall and Rosie O'Donnell starred together in TV commercials for what store? Target, Macy's, Walmart, Kmart. I remember these commercials. The answer is D, Kmart. Final answer. <laughs> I just can't believe you're asking me that question. Uh, yes, Kmart. And yes, you're right, it was Kmart for Rosie and Penny. Here's an important question, the $32,000 one. Here it is. What country's New Year's festival is commonly known as Tet? Cambodia, Burma, Vietnam, Tibet. Well, I've, I know from watching movies that the Tet Offensive was uh, an occurrence during the Vietnam War. So I'm going to say C, Vietnam. Want to make it your final? Vietnam, final answer. Yes for $32,000. Getting closer and closer. He's won thirty-two thousand dollars. He's got two lifelines left, and I'm getting a big kick out of your mother right behind you. Can't see it, <laughs> but she's cheering and clapping, and and just uh, you, you love your son, don't you? Oh boy, do I ever! But you're getting a big kick out of this. Here he is, your pride and joy, right here. Absolutely. Going for the big bucks. Well, all right, and Eric is a good guy too. Not only is he a professor at Fordham, he's also an uh, emergency medical technician. In a volunteer basis. That's right. That's right. I've been a volunteer EMT for uh, 11 or 12 years, uh, seven years in Boston, and for the last several years I've been doing it in my hometown in New Jersey. Good work. Thank you. All right, Eric, back to it. Going for 64,000. Let's play. Here it is. What Broadway play and film tell the story of John Merrick, the Elephant Man, Equus? A Few Good Men, American Buffalo. Uh, I've seen the movie, and the answer is A, The Elephant Man. Final answer. Final answer. The right answer, The Elephant Man. <laughs> Don't look now, but he's just four away from $1,890,000, and he still has two lifelines. Here it comes for 125000 On a standard color TV set, what three colors are used to create all color images? Red, blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, green. Red, blue, green. Red, green, yellow. Well, I believe that a standard TV color image is always referred to as an RGB image. RGB standing for red, RGB, red, green, and blue. 
So I'm going to say C and make that my final answer. Yes, for $125,000. Can you believe this, Regis? Mother going crazy. <laughs> ah, me too. You're me three too. away. Wow. Three away. Two lifelines. Quarter million dollars. Take a look, Eric. Here it is. In 1999, a Dallas Zoo researcher found that ocelots are drawn to the scent of which of the following? Altoids breath mints, Calvin Klein obsession, Old Spice aftershave, Glade Air Freshen. Now, you might think that since I'm a biologist, I, I might have heard of this, but I haven't heard of this at all. I'm trying to think if I ever read anything about this in the newspaper. Well, Regis, I think I'm going to have to use a lifeline, and I think I'd like to phone a friend. Okay, got somebody that's an animal expert, or...? <laughs> no, I'll phone the smartest person I know, okay. my wife, Amanda. Oh, good. Well, she was the one who was here. That's right, that's right. All right, right. great. Be nice to talk with her again. at and we need Amanda. Hello? Amanda? Yes? Regis Philbin here from ABC, so wants to be a millionaire. Oh, how you, goodness. How you, how you doing? I'm good. It's nice to talk with you again. I have your husband here, and he said I want to call the smartest person I know, and that's you. Well, I hope I fulfill that promise. Well, he's doing very well here. He's going for a quarter million dollars. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it's going to be up to you. And his mother's watching him like a hawk. I bet, I bet. All right, so, Eric, it's all yours. you got 30 seconds, and they start now. In 1999, a Dallas Zoo researcher found that ocelots are drawn to the scent of which of the following? Ocelots are drawn to the scent of which of the following? Altoids breath mints. Altoids breath mints. Calvin Klein obsession. Calvin Klein obsession. Old Spice aftershave. Old Spice aftershave. Or Glade air, Glade air freshener. Or Glade air freshener. Seven seconds. It would have been in the news. Three Gosh. seconds. Not sure, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> You're great anyway. Thank you. It's a tough question. It is a tough, it's a tough question. I have no other choice but to use my 50-50. Let's do it. Let's knock it down by two, computer. Calvin Klein or Glade? If you were an ocelot. <laughs> if I was an ocelot, I'd have a quarter million dollars right now, Regis. <sighs> now, you lose 93, Eric. 93,000. And that is something I really don't want to do. It's happened once before on this show, as you saw the captain go down. 32,000. You know, D kind of doesn't make sense as an answer. Because Glade air fresheners come in many scents. Or as there's only one Calvin Klein option. Exactly. So I would think that you'd have to be more specific about which scent of Glade air freshener the ocelot is drawn to. Right? That comes in any sense. Glade Air Freshener does. And Calvin Klein Obsession is what I originally thought it was the right answer when the four choices came up. <sighs> this is a big decision. Well, sure it is. 250000 Or walking with 125. That's you, the decision. To and you walk, walk with 125. Through. You're absolutely right. You got a 50% chance. <laughs> getting the right answer. I would hate to lose. I would hate to lose. You know what, Regis? If I walk out of here with $125,000, I'm, I'm a winner. And I'm, it, would, it would be the thrill of a lifetime. And uh, I think the difference between 250, oh, what am I saying? 250 is so much money. <laughs> oh my God. You're kidding, 250 is double 125. It's it's a real lot of money. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I was I was about to say, you know, the difference between 125 and 250 isn't that isn't as big as yeah. the difference between losing 93, yes. but you know it is big. Because and especially if I get to the 250, I might know the 500. That's right. Ah! <laughs> and 
and, and if you get to the 500, you're not, uh, you go for the next one, and you know <laughs> that one, we're talking about a million, almost a million, eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, tomorrow when you're teaching at Fordham, <laughs> you're sitting there at the top of the class, are you gonna be kicking yourself? How could I kick myself with $125,000? Uh, that is obviously a, a very, very positive outcome, and I don't think anyone would give me a hard time for winning only $125,000. On the other hand... <laughs> on the other hand, uh, what lesson am I trying to impart to my students here? And I think it might be one of fiscal responsibility. Uh, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to say uh, thank you to Tracy and Susan and JP and everyone else who's made this a really great experience and to say that I'm had a great time and I'm going to walk with 125 dollars Okay, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want you to guess. Obviously, I was leaning towards Calvin Klein's obsession. Shall we find out if you, if you would have been oh, right? Oh, let's. Let's. Yeah, you would have okay. been right. That's all right. That's it's okay. okay. $125,000. Take care, Eric. Good luck to you, David. Thanks, Regis. Thanks, I'm, I'm Thanks, so long. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Can you believe this? <laughs> What a great contestant and a great guy, too, and I certainly don't think anybody's going to give him a hard time for winning $125,000. Like he said, that's uh, a lot of money. But now we have to fill that hot seat right there, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these actors in order of their birth, starting with the most recent. Angelina Jolie, Susan Sarandon, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent, Angelina Jolie, and then Brad, and then Susan, and then Morgan. That's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? Let's see. The winner is <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> Keith. No, no. We're going to come right back, and she's going for it. <laughs> Tiffany Keith Jeffries from Jackson, Mississippi, made it into the hot seat. We we're all very happy for her and her baby-to-be. That is correct. How many months pregnant are you? I am seven months. Seven months. Yes. Now, does this excite the baby when you're excited <laughs> yourself? During the fastest finger, I was getting a little movement, but right now, he or she has settled down. She was just trying to help during the fastest Absolutely. finger. Absolutely. And you're accompanied by your grandmother, Margaret. Nice to have you here, Margaret, Thank as well. You. We're almost out of time, Tiffany, so why don't we get right to it, okay? The rules, the lifelines, you know all that. You know how much you're playing for. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. <laughs> $100. As a common test of coordination, you should be able to pat your head and do what at the same time? Chew gum, bounce a basketball, rub your stomach, host a game show. <laughs> the answer is C, rub your stomach. Right, you rub your stomach, you rub your head, same time. $200. If something is inexpensive, it is commonly said that you can get it for a what? A smile, a shrug, a song, cousin's birthday. The answer is C, song, final what? answer. Yes, you got it. You get it for a song. She's up to $300. In the MPAA movie rating system, what does the letter R stand for? Restricted, rude, radical, let's sneak in. <laughs> Luckily, I'm old enough that D is not the right answer. The answer is A, restricted. Yes, ma'am, $300. 500 Which of the following kitchen utensils is commonly used to flip hamburgers? Colander, spatula, grater, sieve. The answer is B, spatula. And you got that one right, too, for $500. All right, Tiffany, here it is for a thousand. 
Which of the following is a form of cosmetic surgery? Hip replacement, acupuncture, facelift, appendectomy. The answer is C, facelift. Final answer. Yeah, sure, that's what they call it, cosmetic surgery. Well, Tiffany, that uh, means that we're out of time for tonight, but you'll be back here Wednesday night, and joining you will be 10 people who want to get rich quick. And they are Tony Parks. Karma Clark, George Pounders, Todd Fitzpatrick, Tammy Smith, Victor Bovin, Elizabeth Bromberg, Dave Valak, Dave McCarthy, and Karen Margaritas.